So I've always played sports growing up. Uh, I originally started off with kickboxing at the age of six. Uh, as I grew up, I took part in lots of different sports, including football. Um, but I was mainly focused on track and field, cross country, and kickboxing. And then at the age of 15, the high school uh, football coach for my year was looking for a new goalkeeper. Uh, he suggested for me to give it a go. Uh, he said he saw some potential, so he sent me to Everton for a brief period. I was there for a little bit, then I was a crew for a year at the age of 16. And then from 16 to 18, I was a scholar at Oldham Athletic. And then following my time there, I was at the Nike Academy for a year. And then I left the Nike Academy and moved out to the States. So kickboxing, I started very young, like six years old. My parents knew that I was going to be a tall, lanky kid growing up, and they didn't want me to go to school and ever get bullied or to get my first hit in school in the face and not know what to do so they wanted to make sure I was able to like defend myself and then from there it just it took off I loved it and then I did it all the way up until the age of 16 when I had to when I had to stop so I could concentrate on football and then with track and field I was always I'd always did well in school races and from there I represented like Liverpool Harriers which is a local running club in Liverpool and I, was, I did quite well but then obviously I got to the point where I had to make a decision I was going to have to focus on one sport and at that time, at 16 years old, football seemed the best option for me, so... I always played it growing up. From under nines onwards, I played as an outfield player. Uh, I was never a goalkeeper. I used to just play on a Sunday, a regular Sunday league team, just because I enjoyed it. Uh, I wasn't necessarily very good. I used to play left wing or as a striker. Uh, brief period at centre-back, but I never saw myself coming on to to play at any sort of high level and then eventually uh, my uh, school coach asked me to be a goalkeeper and from there it just stuck, I had quite a, quite a bit of potential and then just worked with it. And, uh, he knew I could play outfield, um, he obviously saw that I was 6 foot 5, uh, I was very tall for my age, obviously that's very helpful when you're a goalkeeper. He obviously knew I was never going to go on to any professional level playing outfield, so he saw, thought, why don't I just try it in goal. Took me through a few sessions, just me and him. I knew nothing about being a goalkeeper at that point. And then from there, he was very helpful with me. He took me to Everton, I was there for 10 weeks, and I trained with their under 15s and 16 goalkeepers. For the first few weeks, I had like no experience whatsoever, I had no technique, it was just getting the basics. And then from there, I just worked hard and eventually ended up at Crew where I was for a year and then from there just built on up. I'd say the easier parts to pick up about being a goalkeeper were the technique side of things, like in goalkeeper sessions working on technique and uh, the proper way to dive, the proper way to come for a cross, the proper way to smother a ball. Um, but the things I really needed to uh, improve in my game were the decision making because uh, obviously I was never a goalkeeper from the age of 9, 10 like a lot of people are. Uh, we're like dealing with crosses, balls over the top, I had to decide and learn um, when was the right time to come, when was the right time to start, like stay in goal and it was difficult to begin with but I had a lot of good people around me helping me and a lot of good coaching and then still to this day it's still a, it's still a learning process, I'm still young for a goalkeeper at 22. Uh, so a bad part is obviously everyone goes to a football game to watch goals and a goalkeeper's primary job is to stop that from happening. So obviously when I make a big save, it, it kind of feels like I've scored a goal or that's my version as a goalkeeper. Um, but you just learn that's, that's just part of the position, part about being a goalkeeper, that you're there to stop goals from happening. And it can be a bit of a weird dynamic, but it's something I enjoy a lot and I know every other goalkeeper has the exact same feeling about it. I'm lucky to have had the opportunities I've had. I've had to work very hard to make sure I got the opportunities that I got as well though. It's a big decision to come to the US. Um, there are a lot of benefits to it. Getting a degree at the same time is playing at a good standard. So yeah, I didn't ever ex uh, at the age of 16 I didn't ever expect to end up in this position. But from a young age I always remember me and my friends used to discuss how good it would be to come to the US on, a, on some sort of football scholarship. And then eventually I 
18, 19 years old, that was a decision I was able to make. So I was very, I'm very grateful for what the games offer me.